Hello loved ones. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. We are going to work this morning. Oh. So let's go down. And um, so welcome to our YouTube channel and why not grandma and if you're coming in for the first time my name is Joan okay so on my way to work and when I get back this evening I will make sure that um, I do that eggnog that punch for you okay that eggnog without the egg using Aki so probably that's Akinog, right? Whatever it is, we'll do that this evening when I return. When I'm out there in the day with the sun and everything, I get so exhausted. Sometimes I fall asleep over the video. But <laughs> let's hope that's not the case. All right? I tell you, sometimes I, I get up back so late. But um, okay, we're out of Wi-Fi. I'm not sure when it will return. Yesterday's video has not been posted. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it to, um, this tonight. Sometime when I return, I'm not using any, any um, data. I'm done with that. Because it takes like two and a half days. One, it, it, the upload is crazy. And the result, I don't like it so much. You can't come, sweetheart. Where are you going? Ah! Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't want, the thing is, the provider for the Wi-Fi is the same provider for the YouTube phone, the phone I use specifically for YouTube. So, I have challenges with it even when I put the, 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 um, the data on it. So... I've done that twice and it, I didn't like the result. I didn't like the length of time. It was crazy. So what I'm going to do is just wait on the Wi-Fi to return and I will not upload all videos at once. So it's still going to be one day, the other day, something more like that. So if it comes this evening, what I'm going to do is... upload one before midnight and the other after because in that case it would be two days right two different days that sounds more like a plan so whenever I wake up before day I'll do the other one because I'll have them ready so let's see but gotta go gotta go gotta go excuse me go back go back up oh ah so later on we'll do this all right Okay, bye-bye. Okay, love ones, we're doing this. So, okay, so I'm going to use the vinegar. A little vinegar and water to rinse off the ackees. And then I'm going to be putting it inside that pot. Pour some water, and then this is the vinegar. Rinse that off. Loved ones, I'm gonna use the vinegar, some of the vinegar on the grass outside. The weeds, what do you think about that? It is gonna change the pH level, right? I don't know much about that, you know, the acid, you know, the soil and that kind of thing. Mm -mm. Don't know anything about that, but I know it would affect the soil. So I have to be careful. Just getting some spices to use in the in the pot, you know. Okay. You, you know I like spices. You're what you eat and their values in all of these. They have the benefits, so you're what you eat, and I'm just trying to make sure that I get as much from the soil as I can. Yeah, 
have to go come outside. Hmm? Why cement is everywhere? Everywhere is cement. Getting oregano and uh, yeah, those are basil, but I have some inside, some dried ones. So water should be boiling by now. So let's get back in the kitchen. Yeah, man, just as I thought. So we're going to get these things thrown in. This is our national fruit, Aki. It was brought here in, I think it was 1778. Yes, late 1700s. Yes, I have breadfruit here, roasted breadfruit, but I am not going to be preparing this. I'm not going to be using this today. It's roasted. I think I'm going to have it fried and something. <laughs> not sure, not sure what I'm doing with that. Right now I'm focusing on the Aki, getting it prepared. Yes, let me get the basil in. Basil! Because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it eventually. So, just throwing some spices in. So, this one is mint. I don't remember uh, what type, but used for cooking. And then, you know, this is oregano. I just crushed it a bit. So I'm putting those in because I think I'm going to make a punch. And then it wouldn't matter if you use spice in the punch. It just doesn't matter. And if you're preparing it, preparing it with codfish, it doesn't matter either. But, you know, I like to use up the spices. All right, just having this in, it might crush the ackee a little bit. Uh, maybe break some other pieces personally i don't really have a problem with that because like i said um i'm more interested in blending it I'm more interested in making that drink that some persons refer to as eggnog <laughs> except that it's aki and not egg And I crush some garlic. Okay. Just gonna throw them in. I do apologize for the, the knocking. The men are still working. And they're gonna be here until, yeah, probably late. So, you notice I use a small amount of water to, to, um, to, to boil the ackee. I normally do that. If I'm doing tubers, it's the same. I normally just use just that amount of water that is needed just so as not to lose unnecessary amount of nutrients okay. until until the ackee is um soft I'm gonna boil until it is soft not extremely soft you know but the color will change and get a little you won't see the white section of it. It's going to be all yellow. And then you know it's ready. So what spices do I have in there? I have basil. I have that um, a mint. I don't remember what type that is. But use for cooking. It doesn't, even, it doesn't even matter. And then I have the famous oregano. Right? And garlic. That's pretty much it. Uh, if I had a pepper, I would put that in it. Scotch bonnet. Yeah, Samuel, scotch bonnet. Yeah, this looks ready. Okay, it's actually um, finished. Just getting these spices out. And that's it. Now, you don't stir Aki because if you do that, it's going to be, it's going to break in small pieces. And you don't really want that especially if you're married and so on because you want to focus on presentation i 
Yes, and the the pieces of um, spices that are left, doesn't matter. That's fine. Either way you're preparing it, it's okay. Because even spices in, in a drink makes it nice, depending on the drink. So food type of drink, it's, it's nice. So it doesn't matter. It's fine. Food and has been cooled and frozen. So let's make the drink. Just frozen. Because I put it in the fridge right after it got cooled. So in the freezer, that is. I'm holding the camera, so I'm using one hand. So we are going to make the sponge. And remember the spices, they don't have to be in there. It's not necessary. Just depend on you and what you want. I just don't see the need to take them out. Because your food should be your medicine and your medicine your food. Fun is a little loud. Um, hope I can reduce that noise. So I wanted it to be icy because you know it's like you're making this punch or a smoothie. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. I don't actually have a name for it. And this is not my invention. Other Jamaicans have, have um, done the drink. It's just that I don't know exactly how they do it. This is how I do it. Pretty much all food drink are done in a similar way. Okay, I think water is in this thing. Let me get the water off the base. I have soy milk. So I'll just throw some soy milk in. It's up to you whatever milk you want to use. And I put some vanilla. Just a little up to you again. And then some nutmeg. Okay. I'm just going to grate this. A bit of it and put it. And I had already poured some water in. So I put a little vanilla. And I had already poured some water in, so I'm going to blend. Okay, there is our drink. There we go, there we go, there we go. There is our drink. Ah, uh, what is it? Aki. Aki punch. Aki. I don't know. Aki smoothie. Aki. Not sure. Whatever you want to call it. So be it, but there you have it, right there. So we're talking about boiled aki. 
We're talking about a little nutmeg, a little vanilla, the milk of your choice, the sweetener of your choice, and then you have a drink that is more like eggnog, kind of ice creamy, yes. I didn't put any sweetener in it because you know. Yeah, there you go. Mmm. Wow. The video did that on its own. I just, I was just tasting it. It's very good. If you're health conscious, you want a healthy drink, and this is it. Yeah. You know what I find strange? I was just having a bit of it, and the camera just started. Just started recording, like, wow. AI and I are probably good friends. Hey. <laughs> oh. Ice creamy, if you put um, sugar in it, you'll have a better taste than I am having. But I'm comfortable with this. Really comfortable with it. Lovely drink. It, it's heavy. Like pumpkin drink. Have you ever had that? Or breadfruit drink. Or um, the regular potatoes. Irish potatoes, regular potatoes, that drink. It tastes good. It's kind of ice creamy. Thank you so much for checking in. Thank you for enjoying the drink with me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. And Look out for, look out for, um, ackee. I'm going to prepare the ackee and codfish with a little twist to the traditional Jamaican style. Okay. All right. You take care. Catch you in the next video. Be good. If you can't be, be very careful, extremely careful. All right. Thanks again. Share the video. Share the love. Thumbs up and tell me where you're viewing from and if you have ever had this drink and the taste and what type of milk you used, all right, or sweetener. Bye-bye. Love you. Yeah. Love it. Yes, loved ones, it's a pleasure to be home. Thank you for sticking around and uh, it's a pleasure to be in your company. All the time I tell you, not taking you for granted. So I hope you enjoy the drink. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man, no problem. You take care and be good. You can't be extremely careful. Okay? This is Grandma saying peace and I am out of here. Alright? Catch you in the next video. Bye.